Now some questions in environment and ecology section were aimed at testing the conceptual clarity of the students. One of such question was question number 18 of set A, which was related to the properties of microorganisms. Now microbes and microorganisms have been a recurring theme in UPSC prelims examination. As you can see here in 2016, it has asked a question based on properties of viruses. So let's take up this question. You have been given three statements and you have to identify the correct one. Statement one says, some microorganisms can grow in environments with temperature above the boiling point of water. Now this is a correct statement. Now, hyperthermophile is a category of organism which can survive in extremely high temperatures. Optimum temperature is 80 degrees Celsius for their survival. However, some can survive above the temperatures of boiling water. Most of them fall under the category of or the domain of archaea. However, there are some bacteria which can survive even above. 100 degrees Celsius and such bacteria are normally found in the deep ocean where high pressure raises the boiling point of the water. With this our statement 1 is correct. Statement 2 says some microorganism can grow in environments with temperature below the freezing point of water. Now this statement is again correct. Because some microbes have property of releasing antifreeze proteins. One of the prime example is Antarctica nematode, which is found around the area of Antarctica. And it can survive the temperature up to minus 80 degrees Celsius. So, statement 2 is also correct. Now, statement 3 says, some microorganisms can grow in highly acidic environment with a pH below 3. Now, this is also a correct statement because this category of microorganism is termed as acidophiles and there are two categories. One is extreme and other one is moderate. While extreme can survive, the pH level of less than 3, while moderate survive the pH level of 3 to 5, that is moderate acidity. With this, our, all three statements are correct, so our answer will be C, that is all three. 